hello guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to style zone i hope you and your family are staying safe you know all we have to do is just keep praying and hoping for the best that god in his infinite mercy will have mercy and deliver us from this whole thing this whole coronavirus that is going on so today is going to be very very simple okay i did a part one of this video this is a part two i'm making black eyed peas stew and black eyed peas what we um usually call in ghana beans is a staple in this house okay like every week i have to cook black eyed peas i have to have black eyed peas it's become a staple in this house so i just want to show you how to make like a really quick um easy stew okay so welcome to my kitchen i hope you enjoy making this recipe for your family all right so i would like to walk you through the ingredients that i'm going to be using if it's something that you can't find i will i will um give you a substitute i'll show you something that you can use instead of um what i'm using so um i'm going to start off um i have opoku here what in ghana we call tuna i mean tuna but we it's locally called opoku okay this is um smoked fish all right so if you don't have you can have opoku or you don't have access to opoku or an african store this is what you can use it's okay i've used these before so you can use um wild caught canned tuna okay or you can use the wild caught pink salmon all right so and then i have onions here one one medium size medium to large size onion i have one tomatoes here i'm using one habanero pepper because this pepper is very spicy so i'm only using one i have a shallot here i have two cloves of garlic i have some tomato sauce um, this is canned tomato sauce i just transferred it in here i'm not using the whole thing i'm just going to be using a little bit i have salt okay I have I'm going to be using palm oil but if you don't have palm oil I know now and a lot of people are on lockdown and they cannot um, go to the African store or even go grocery shopping so you use what you have you can use avocado oil or if you have olive oil any oil you can even use coconut oil whatever you have you can even use trust me you can even use shea butter to cook okay we are we are in that time where you know a lot of people did not know how this thing is going to go down and most people are on lockdown and they, are, they have very limited resources when it comes to food so trust me just reach out for that shea butter it will work also so let's just get started one more thing <laughs> we are going to be having this with roasted over roasted plantain instead of fried plantain i'm starting off by um i'm going to blend my vegetables i'm blending some of my vegetables so i'm just i'm just taking a little bit of the onion about a quarter size of the medium sized onion that i have i'm going to cut this up i'm going to blend these okay chop up the tomatoes if you don't have regular tomatoes canned tomatoes will work perfect add your garlic add your pepper you can add ginger if you want just a little bit of ginger i'm going to add just a little bit of water and then i'm going to go ahead and blend these up so now we're going to slice the shallot and the rest of the onion up so now here is the pepper the tomatoes the onion the garlic what i did um what i added to this was a little bit of the opoku okay a little bit of the tuna while i was blending this and also i added this this is homemade organic shrimp powder so i added about um a tablespoon a heaping tablespoon to the pepper and then blended it so that's my maggi you know i don't have to use any maggi that's going to be my maggi if you have not seen my mom's video uh, my mom's homemade light soup like authentic ghana lice video which we recently posted go check it out and you will love it okay you love all the tips and tricks on how to cook your food without adding any maggi i'm starting off with some palm oil in my pot okay it doesn't take um that long for palm oil to heat up so make sure you have your vegetables and your sauce ready to go all right so you just be adding one after the other so I'm just going to be adding in the onions. I love onions. You guys know that I say that <laughs> all the time. So 
if you don't, if you're not an onion lover like me, you can reduce the amount of onions you add to your stew. So we're going to cook this until it's nice and soft, all right? Or you can say until it is transparent. And then we will add our sauce. Let's check on our plantains. I think it's doing very well. So I'm just going to flip it on the other side, okay? Be careful, okay? As you can tell, I've been doing this. So I have a rack on top of a rack because I used to just put it on my oven rack and then it's like scraping it off it will it will stick to it so just having um, a separate rack from the one you have in your oven will make it easy for a cleanup so this is going to go in until it's nice and done so now the onion is ready as you can see some of the edges is starting to brown so that is a sign that this is ready now I'm going to be adding in the sauce, okay? And then I'm going to be adding in just a little bit of the tomato, um, tomato sauce, okay? This right here, watch me. About this much, okay? So let's just say about two to three tablespoons of tomato sauce it's a matter of fact here yeah. lower the heat and cook for about 10 minutes okay let it cook for about 10 minutes and so we are moving on <laughs> we are moving on okay i have about one minute and 33 seconds for my sauce to remember i said 10 minutes so i only have one minute and now 27 seconds so i'm now going to be adding in my opoku my tuna Charlie, hmm. so yes, let the opoku uh, get to know the sauce, okay? Give it about an, another three minutes, and then we'll go in and then add our black eyed peas. I still haven't added any salt because I already have some salt in the black eyed peas, okay? Over here, mm -hmm. our roasted plantain is ready, guys. Look at this, this looks so good. Mm, these ones are soft like M rank asa. Um, how long did I bake it for? I actually didn't set a timer. When the plantain is done, you can tell that it's done. So I started off at 380 and then I brought it to 300 when it started to brown. And I completely, I turned it off before the whole thing was done cooking. Because um, turn it off, keep it in the oven and the heat will um, finish it off. Okay, we'll finish cooking it or baking it for you. This is looking so good. So now I'm going to be adding my black eye, cooked black eye peas, okay? Remember, it's cooked. It's nice and hot. So now you can see it's like nice and thick. I'm going to be adding a little more. Now this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I am talking about. So at this point, you will taste it. Just let it cook for like an extra five minutes. Just so that the black eye peas, the cooked black eye peas and the sauce will get to know each other. You know, they will mm -hmm, make out. And then in five minutes, it should be ready for you to consume with your if either fried plantain or roasted plantain. And this stew, you can actually have this with rice. You can have this with rice if you want. You can even add some vegetables. Like I prefer you can add like spinach to it. Just um, chop up some spinach and then add it in here. This will be good for you. Okay. I'm going to be adding just a little bit of um, Bedia seasoning. Complete seasoning. If the stew is too thick for you, add a little bit of water. Okay. Not too much. Oh, this is not rice water. You're not making rice water. Uh -huh. Usually bean stew is like thin. You can also have this with kenke. I don't know if you've ever had this with kenke, but it is legit. I'm telling you, you can have this with kenke or banku on the side as your, you know, as your stew. Mm -hmm. Banku, so you can have it banku, kenke, boiled plantain, okay? You can have it with yam. You can have it with rice. What else can you have it with? <laughs> I'm running out of ideas. So yeah, let me know what you will try it with. You can have it by itself with some gari and some plantain, either boiled, 
roasted or fried okay so let me know what you think thank you for um tuning in for joining me in my kitchen from my kitchen to yours make this a happy cooking with you and your family while you stay indoors you know try something new this is ghana cooking all right guys i will see you bye so this is a bonus video i have roasted plantain okay and this is broccoli okay so this is cooked broccoli just push your push down on it mush it around not too mushy not too 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 <laughs> with the black eye um with the plantains too so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some of the stew i made not too much i did not heat the broccoli because the beans is like still hot so a little more because it's spicy and then i'll go in and add the regular black eyed peas if you don't have the stew it's fine usually this is how i do it i just mix it just like that um with a little bit of uh, zomi for him so yeah so mix it in there mix if your kids don't like vegetables you have toddlers that <laughs> this is how you trick them into eating vegetables okay and Nathaniel will eat this. This is not the first time we've he's had this like several times. So, um, and this this method works for him, and it makes my job easy. So, yep. So, there you have it. This is how I mix the black eyed peas with vegetables for Nathaniel. Try it for your kids and let and let's um comment in the comment section. Let me know if your kids like it. Bye.